Well, my wife had the idea. She started with uh, uh, single moms, and uh, just to do something different for Christmas other than toys. So she thought of doing diapers for single moms. And it's grown to handing out clothes and diapers and everything else. And now we have this event, and this is really a, a great opportunity for God. No, actually this is the first time, but uh, I've uh, tried working with Becky this morning and trying to uh, find ways that uh, my men's uh, church group could help with this type of organization. So uh, we're actually, uh, I'm going to pre present it to uh, my guys and we'll see how we can all come together and help out people. Uh, we go to uh, Cape Coral first, uh, United Methodist, right on Coronado. It's a, it's a community. This is, this is what the needs are in the community right now. You can see that uh, everyone here is very thankful and uh, very appreciative of, uh, you know, these clothes are, are good clothes that I know my daughter never even wore some of them. So yeah, some of them have new new, um, new tags on them. And tags everything. on so, them and all. So we're just trying to get uh, not only in the church but even within our family, our friends, just anyone who can help us to just get the clothes and the diapers and whatever it is that Becky needs. I know that Becky's really passionate about what she does, and I know that um, her mission is just to help everyone in need, and that's why we're here. Donating clothes today. I work at the Moose Club, and everybody got together, and here I am. <laughs> met recently and she shared her story with me and it touched my heart so I brought my daughter here this afternoon to share her the love of Jesus with everyone here and passing on her toys that she no longer uses and just to share with other kids that are not as advantaged as she is. Yeah, church where we have a free clothing bank and so that's how Becky and I got connected mm -hmm. and um, she started by sending people over and then pretty soon she was so overwhelmed with clothes that she saw the need to get rid of and move to what we do, we, or let us do what we do so mm -hmm. she can do what she does. If we stay focused on our one mission, then we'll do it well, and if we each play our own part, it'll all work together beautifully. It's amazing there's a lot of good going on around here for for the body, for sure. So it's a great feeling. People come, we decided to do this event um, because since last April, as people have been giving us donations for clothes, we've been saving all of the cold weather clothes. Knowing that in Florida, we do have days of very, very, very cold weather. It gets down to at least 60. So we want to make sure that everyone's nice and warm. So we decided to have this event to just bless everyone. Um, this is a national uh, part of National Make a Difference Day. And we want to just bless all the people in this area with clothes and shoes and um, socks and purses and toys and hot dogs and all kinds of good stuff. So we asked, we started this around uh, 9 o'clock this morning. Actually, we were here at 7 setting up. and. We've had, I have no idea how many people have come through here at this point, but it's been a great, 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 great day. Um, it looks like we uh, still have some clothes we're able to give away, so between now and the next hour, uh, we're going to start giving away as many clothes as people can just walk away, walk away with. So it's been a great day. I'm really glad that we've been able to uh, be a part of uh, Make a Difference Day. I know that we've made a difference in a lot of people's lives today.